Hey, hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I have some tips and tricks in Photoshop. Maybe some of you know it, some of you don't. So stay till the end of the video because you might learn a thing or two about Adobe Photoshop. And without any more delay, let's start designing. Okay guys, I'm gonna start by opening Photoshop and just pulling up this image that I just, it's just a picture that I took just to show you how to white balance an image in Photoshop. It's really simple. Just need to, let's create a duplicate, a copy of the image. And I'm just gonna go to here at the corner. You see that it's like a circle with a little line. You're gonna click there and in this little circle, you're gonna see something called levels. And in the levels, you're gonna have this drop. So this one is for uh, sample the image of the dark area. So for example, I would take the iMac dark, darkest part of the screen just to calibrate the blacks. And if I take just the white color, I'll take the white and it will do a white calibration. So I just put the, the little eyedropper in the area of the image that I think that's supposed to be white. So applies a white calibration itself to the image in just maybe two to three clicks. And it's really useful when you're trying to fix photos that you're working with. And again, it's real simple. That's tip number one. Let's go with tip number two. Imagine that you already have a picture and the, pi the picture itself is not white calibrated well. We already know how to do that. We just simply need to go. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go to this corner, this guy at the corner, which is create a fill or adjustment layer. We're gonna click there. We're gonna use the levels again. And we take the, the white eyedropper to sample a white area of the image. And since the book is actually white, simple. As simple as that, it's really simple. It's just with one click. So something that I can notice is that the image is a little bit tilted at the top. There's no problem with that. One thing that we could do is just simply taking the image and you're gonna go with the crop tool. And if you notice that the crop tool has this option at the top that is called straighten, this is gonna help you create a line where you think something's supposed to be straight. So for example, the top of the book, if I draw a line on top of it, it's just gonna take it as a reference to put the image straight. Even though I did that, I end up with a problem. The image has a problem of, of, of perspective itself. One way that we can solve the perspective of the image is by using a different tool. And many people might not know this tool, but it's really useful. I'm gonna first create some guide with the ruler, command R just to create some guides. And I'm gonna just go through it and apply some guides really quickly. After that, what I'm gonna do is go to the edit and I'm going to click the perspective wrap. I'm going to set up the square of the perspective wrap first. And from there, take the points right here, move them and try to make the shape that I have right here. So I'm just trying to match the points with the actual shape. Now, the next step will be click instead of layout, you click to wrap, and then you can start manipulating the image in a way that you're going to be able to fix the perspective of the image. Let me drag another guide right here. You can fix the perspective of the image itself by just moving the dots and make them align perfectly with the guides that you create previously. It will give you this result. You see that the image gets fixed. One thing that you could do if you end up with this result and you don't have the background the way you wanted it to be, you can simply just take the selection, the polygonal lasso tool and select all the empty area. And this is gonna be a really nice trick. You select all the empty area and you're gonna go to edit content aware fill and this is going to be like magic then you're just going to click it it's going to do a sampling and take the parts of the image just to fill it out and it's going to create this awesome final design you're just going to click apply and you're going to click ok you're going to press command d and there you have your final image and this will take us to the end of the video if you feel like you learned something new just give it a like that'll help me a lot thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again in the next video bye